Oh, wow. Uh, Cara, it's nice to see you around here. Yes, uh, Jessica, I, I wish it was better circumstances. Actually, more or less. And, uh, hey, everybody, it's been a while, and, uh, wow, Retro is back to his, uh, usual BS, usually. He's going through a lot of the full effect stuff. And, yeah, I can tell with his multiversal, well, omniversal self now. Yeah, more or less. Wow, oh, you actually found a universe where you're, uh, flipped. No, I'm, <sighs> he just found out that I'm a multiversal relative of his. Oh, like a sister? No, sadly, cousin. Okay, I didn't know that she was like, the the uh, multiversal version of Sean. Well, now you know, and this is what you get. Oh, oh, Jess, Car. Uh, I was just debriefing him on um uh, the upcoming uh, crossover we'll be doing next week. Uh, no, I should be doing a Dune review. Yeah, that's not happening, and you know it. K Y. Uh, should I show him? Yes, Jason, go ahead. <sighs> Okay, so what? Oh. Okay, you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, Jess. Thanks. Uh, anything else you want to talk about real quick before we leave? Is there any other DC stuff? Yes, Richard, you were talking about, I don't know, that new Joker photo that dropped the last couple of weeks? Yes, we'll do the damn review for it. Seriously, you were like the last person in the bathroom that actually wants to fight Joker. I mean, is that, is that wrong? Dude. We just survived DCEU. We're not going to survive your BS again. Anyway, hey everybody, what's up? This is Retro Coverage Reviews doing a quick update with the news. Uh, my apologies in advance for uh, re displaying the figures around. Up, oh, he looks, you can show him out. Okay, I am not going by the moniker. Yes, you will, SG, SGC. SJC, whoop! SHX, that was my designation as a tracker. All right, SHX. Look, just go and just help us out. Could you do that? When was I your second sorry? Since you found out I'm the nice timeline version of your EJ. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me of that. But I'm not if you call me Jamie on, on cam, I'm gonna freaking lose it. Yeah, but I could have rather kick it better than you. Oh god, you sound like a multifulture version of my cousins already. Yeah, gotta had a feeling. All right, all right, on the news first. Yes, I'm very much aware of uh, Ruby's part two of the Justice League crossover. I'll go to our previous video on that. And uh, more or less, uh, we got figures to set up uh, for a good reason because there's some Todd McFarlane stuff that I might actually want to get this time around as far as this year goes. Uh, so on to the next bit of news uh, since we're here. Uh, we're going <coughs> to... Apprehension to... Uh, yeah, uh, but... Boom Boom Jer Cast Reveal. Uh, there they are. Uh, and the Turco article, of course, was uh, obviously the Tokusatsu New Network, but I'm going to keep um, uh, keep it a buck and give you uh, uh, oldie but a goodie here for the channel, uh, JE Fusion, in case there's any uh, toys that I might have missed in the uh, press tour coming up for this new Sentai. And, of course, Hakil is down below also for his coverage. That being said, uh, getting to the obvious with this cast reveal, uh, they look amazing. I'm uh, not going to lie here. It's very traditional, and apparently there's a mystery thing here for probably their six ranger coming up so yeah makes sense uh no video available yet for uh international audiences for the cast reveal trailer probably the press tour as well um check out the blog post yourself uh, a lot of the headshots for the new people for the new cast looks really cool loving that cross thing um uh i guess wow can you tell i don't drip with uh cross uh cross packs now these not these days not bad for Nerf, I don't think about it. Anyway, Toku stuff aside, let's get to the main reason why I'm bringing out most of the McFarlane toys here. So, as you can already tell, uh, I'm already out of order. <sighs> re uh, de de Um So, yeah, what you're seeing there is basically the 30th anniversary of McFarlane toys. Todd, and I think his first suit design uh, for Spawn. So, uh, getting to the package over here. Uh, there's none because uh, the pre-orders were already out as of this recording and completely sold out. Checking price listings uh, on the ride back here from being out of town. Uh, Saw family in Connecticut in case anyone asks. Everyone's cool. Don't worry. So on to uh, the thumbnail for the video. Uh, you get a good idea what the gold edition uh, wave is going to be for this. Um, my highlights is obviously the uh, Spawn and um, Todd first designs. We'll get more into that figures in a minute. Um, the two I couldn't get in time for this video was the Commando Spawn. Uh, for those who want to know that one, that's basically a failed uh, pitch uh, for Todd's equivalent of like a kid safe version of the animated series. And like the Bruce Timm style uh, kind of animation. Uh, not bad for a vinyl figure. I think that's going to be the cheapest out of everyone. I think it's hovering around like 25 to 30 bucks. That's actually not bad as far as top prices go. Uh, the one I actually want to try to get uh, is their tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Um, I think for issue three, 311 of the main uh, Spawn book uh, when Chadwick uh, sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, uh, for the, what I've seen so far out of the package and for the photos so far in this figure is that it's 
more of the old school Todd basically making figurines with limited articulation days. But uh, for this particular case, it makes sense to re uh, to be a representation of the cover art at the time. Um, it's also in the gold label. Um, I think that's again hovering around thirty bucks as well. So the reason why I'm mentioning the two pack uh, is that this is going to be fifty dollars. If you pre-ordered, um, the card in the back would have been signed by Todd himself. And another reason why I'm going to bring uh, V and uh, uh, MK11 spawn out, because I want to see just on my um, uh, figures alone. I'll probably I'll probably do the size comparison when I get the when I get the two back sometime later this year. Still going to try my best, despite the dollar price tag. Um, how much has really changed? I want to say. The jeans on Todd's end is kind of what Bloodshot has here without the armored up stuff. Um, not as bow-legged as I think Todd probably is in real life, or that could be his uh, articulation. Um, I do know if that's anything indicating. Uh, my V over here that I've been using uh, throughout the channel the last couple of years is my human form. Pants-wise and sculpt-wise is close. But the ripples, I think, on Todd's jeans is a little more uh, probably what he wears at cons and stuff like that. Also, it is kind of funny that he does uh, walk around the office shoeless. Um, I guess he grinded a little too hard or probably something about crunch back in the day when it came to making the comics for Image. Um, that being said, um, I am very much aware there is some reuse in the spawn accessories. Not so much with the hand options. Those are pretty new for me. I know the grip is almost identical to what um, MK11 Spawn has. I haven't really picked up most of the modern day waves of Spawn. Um, don't know anything he did with the classic designs other than what you're seeing here. Because uh, what you're seeing here is basically a childhood slash mock-up early designs of what uh, Al was supposed to be... Uh, down the road if he was still picked up by like marvel or dc i don't know if he was i, for, I forgot the old history of this uh for people who knows the history of the the early designs of uh spawn please let me know in the comments down below uh, as usual um another thing uh yeah uh back on the todd end this is where you get the most accessories you get like um his writing hand i didn't know he was a left hand left handed guy i'm a right so let me know in the comments if that was accurate to most of his art style um him doing peace vibes and stuff like that probably getting hyping up the crowd at cons and stuff um yeah and uh ultimately i do like this two pack um it's a good um representation of how far um todd has come as a toy marketing uh creative along with most other uh <laughs> he wore a lot of hats when it came to being a executive of uh image and still to this day with uh, spawn uh toys wise um yeah honestly for 50 bucks um it probably would have been 10 bucks more and probably whenever you get ebay prices of people who got pre-orders of the signed um car backs on todd it'll probably be maybe 10 to 20 dollars more depending on who you ask on um, second hand um honestly uh judgment call myself i'm probably not gonna see it at a physical store i'll be lucky to see it in my local comic shop i'll be honest with you they'll probably case wall if anything um so yeah i'll probably uh bite the bullet and probably go over what is the standard i guess 50 dollar price tag for this two two pack if anything else also um yeah uh as far as cameos go in his own toy line slash you know original version of the character it could be worse uh could be his cameo back in the 97 movie uh go, go to my review on that one also i found out when uh checking in the reddit on this that uh turns out uh angela was there also in the banquet scene in the, in the movie so i don't know maybe i'll do a revised uh review of that movie someday probably for a spawn timber if anything if um uh that guy is still doing that um uh, i guess uh i guess month theme wise in this dish here um, so yeah, the big, uh, three of this wave I'm probably gonna try to get, like I said, is gonna be the two-pack and the Chadwick Boseman figure. I have no, um, uh, indication of this era of Spawn. I legitimately forgot the name off the top of my head. I'm trying to see if they, uh, no, Hell Spawn, just a regular Hell Spawn pack. Um, I know there's later art styles down the road for the character, and I think when Ty allowed other uh, artists to just basically do their own version of the storylines, um, it's, again, like, the Chadwick is probably more cover art inspired instead of articulation inspired, which you could already definitely tell the stark difference here from, um, Todd and, uh, his OG spawn. So, ultimately, um, yeah, your mileage may vary for this gold wave, and yeah, this is gonna be basically the main ho hook of the news. So, I'll just try to summarize, like I said, um, uh, for final thoughts, yes, I will definitely uh, come back hopefully next week uh, for my update review for uh, Justice League X um, Ruby crossover. 
Yes, I will definitely try my best to be ready day one for Bo, Bo uh, Boomuger. Wow, why am I calling Bo Kenger? Oh, wow, my God. And uh, yeah, for the two pack, um, it's a very good, um, like a good talking point, a good like case study of see how far McFarlane's come. And honestly, I cannot wait to do size comparisons and just basically articulation comparisons to pretty much uh, modern day Spawn figures to the original design he had back in the day. Um, honestly, your mileage may vary on how you feel about the guy. And uh, yes, I am trying my best not to do the zoom in on uh, Todd's obvious uh, derp face he's got going on here. I know a lot of um, figure collector channels have probably really dumped on it, but I mean, it's Todd. Like, what else are you going to do? Um, I don't know on the lanyard. I don't know if it's more uh, PVC or like actual um, bendy wire kind of string. Who knows? Um, also, I didn't get time to do pretty much any of the... Um, uh 85th anniversary batman figures uh the ones i'm interested in trying to get is uh his first appearance back in the 30s and any of them any of the others that have um either nightfall or nightfall jason stuff like azrael you are seriously gonna finally get azrael around here i mean yeah probably <sighs> great anyway go to my stupid expression here to his critical role short yeah uh we're gonna have to redo it uh some things some wild shit happened in 86 just gonna let you know now Oh, enough to be a full video of anything else? Yeah, it's an update for the campaign since they're on break, and I don't know, I'll probably have to do that, uh, do a general update with uh, Candela before Chapter 4. Yes, that trailer was awesome. Yes, I'm very much happy that um, Liam O'Brien is going to be GMing a, a session. That would be cool. Also, Talos and Jaffe went from being Lightkeeper uh, narrator to actual player. is going to be interesting, going to be honest with you guys. So, uh, with crit roll uh, knowledge aside, go to uh, me also for the, the shorts on episode 85, and probably a revised version of... Um, 86 next week with a full episode of probably all the other stuff i missed in the in the shorts so yeah you get a full video critters i know it's been long overdue here in the channel my bad in advance and uh yeah go to the derp face i tried my best not to do it here of uh todd to hit the channel uh sub to the channel hit the notification bell down below for one i never really get this uh, two pack and until next time i'm a true character gear reviews yeah as someone who's had to have this body sculpt uh todd you could have done a lot better out crunch wise but Hey, congratulations to 30, 30 years of uh, the company and 30 years of the character. And, um, yeah, not bad for a first design. I could definitely see the inspiration. Uh, someone who has that same lower mindset, top five uh, figure-wise, I could do that in the final cards of anything. So, uh, we're good. Can I finally buy Azrael? No! Why?